Hello everybody, thank you for joining me on the Magnificent Speed YouTube channel. Today I'm going to unleash the first of my new series called Album Reviews. This is going to be my first review. It is Ram by Paul and Linda McCartney. This album was released 50 years ago today, I believe. Ram was released. This was the second solo album for Paul McCartney. Since the Beatles breakup, Paul and Linda teamed up and Paul wrote all the songs, sang all the lead, except kind of shares the lead on one of the songs. Uh, Linda does all backing vocals and I'm sure she helped with writing. Um, Paul plays all the bass. He played guitar on it. He also played ukulele and piano, of course. I believe he played all the pianos and all the keys on this album. He brought in a drummer, Danny Sywell, I believe is how you pronounce it. Danny Sywell, Danny Sewell, who ends up being the drummer for Wings. A great American drummer, great drummer, just on this album, he's just perfect. He also brought in Dave Spinoza, an American guitarist, to help with, I believe, the leads and that kind of thing and some other guitar work. From what I understand, Dave Spinoza had to move on to other projects in the middle of this project and he brought in Hugh McCracken to finish the job. So you have two American lead guitarists on here and you have an American drummer playing with Mr. Paul McCartney and Linda McCartney. Uh, Linda, of course, was an American. Paul, though, of course, was a Beatle. So, I mean, just put that in perspective. You're playing with the Beatle right after the breakup. Production on the album is wonderful. It came out May 1971. This album was recorded in New York at Columbia Studios, I believe Studio 2, between October and late November 1970. That's when I was born, November 1970. Old man coming through. And then they took a Christmas break. He went back to Scotland with the family, had Christmas, came back mid-January and finished up the album from January into February. The album was mixed in Los Angeles and again, released May 1971. It's considered indie pop slash psychedelic or psychedelia. You just can't deny Paul McCartney's greatness. As a Beatle, he was phenomenal. Ever since the Beatles, yeah, he has some clunkers here and there, I mean, but some of these songs would have been on the Beatles. Um, as a little kid, I do remember hearing Uncle Albert quite a bit on the radio throughout the 70s. And of course, other Wings hits and Paul McCartney hits that were just fantastic. Not realizing that this guy was in the Beatles. I mean, I still couldn't get my head around what the Beatles were. They just seemed like these four dudes in black and white. And then as I got a little older, I realized, wow, I love this group. When I first heard Sgt. Pepper, and then that was it, lights out, right? And ever since, I've yet to find a band or a group that, in my opinion, is better. And that's just my opinion. Everybody has an opinion, but to me, they're the greatest band ever. So even an album by one of the Beatles, in the early 70s especially, you're gonna find a lot of value. Again, like I said, it sounds great. I try to make my music sound like this. You know, I'm, st I'm still searching for ways to sound like Paul McCartney and like the Beatles and like, you know, a lot of great artists from the 60s and early 70s. Just to me, they are the best all the way around, all the music back then. It was just better. There was a lot of clunkers back then too, but I, this is just my opinion. It's just my opinion. So the album is produced by Paul and Linda McCartney. The cover photo is of course by Linda McCartney. That's the other thing. You know, looking back hindsight, knowing the story of Paul and Linda, it's a, it's a real romance. It's a true love. Linda, uh, when I was a kid, Linda used to get, you used to hear, you know, Linda this, Linda that. A lot of people would put Linda McCartney down. They put down Paul because his wife is in the band. Now that all this time has passed, I think it was a great move and I salute Paul for that. I really enjoy Linda's backing vocals. I think they're fabulous on most of the songs. There's one song uh, I'll get to it where it's like, meh. Overall, this is a great album. Great listen. If you are a Beatle fan, especially of the later Beatles, you should listen to this because you will find at least two to maybe six tracks that you love. Anyways, let's check out. Before I, before I give you my opinion on all the songs, I'm not gonna make this too long. Let's just check it out again. So here's the album cover. You got Paul with the ram, I believe that's on his Scottish uh, farm. The artwork's very cool. On the back, you have this 
teeth guy. I really I haven't studied it. I don't know what that means. Uh, you have a picture of Paul, Linda, and the girls. Uh, you have a beetle. This was taken by Linda. It was a beetle getting it on with another beetle. And that's the way supposedly Paul and I'm sure the other beetles felt. They were all suing each other at the time. It looks like there's a beetle down there too. All right. And then you open it up. And good color scheme. Very good color scheme. You got some more cutouts of Paul. Looks like a couple of animals from the farm. And just some of their own art doodling to go with it. Very cool, very, very nice. All right, so let's go through each song. So let me see. Too Many People, Too Many People is a song about John Lennon. Um, or at least some of it is directed towards John Lennon. You took your lucky break and broke it in two. Yeah, I mean, John Lennon and Paul McCartney are amazing. Uh, so is George, and so is Ringo. I mean, they all four of them. It's a, it's something that will never happen again, ever. Lennon. But Too Many People is a great song. It's a great opening. I love it. Three Legs. Uh, the guys in the Beatles thought Three Legs was about them while Paul was moving on. So the four down to three against him. So Three Legs, though, is a great song. I think it's wonderful. Ram On. I've always loved Ram On. Ram On, which uh, is a ukulele song. Maybe I'll do a lesson for that on the channel. Ram On is a great song, and you need to ram on. And you know, look at that. He could have went home. He could have. He could have just retired up in, you know, in Scotland or whatever. Instead, you know, that's what I love about the Beatles. They come out with more music, more music in the '70s, and really great stuff as solo artists, right? So Ram On's great. Dear Boy, Dear Boy. I saw an interview with Howard Stern with Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney said, Dear Boy wasn't about John Lennon. That was, he, that was about his wife's ex-husband who left Linda Eastman Kodak. Paul scooped her up and had the love of his life. Um, so that, you know, I could see that. I think that's brilliant. It's a brilliant song too. I love it. And I do say brilliant a lot, so sorry. Uh, Uncle Albert. Admiral Halsey. If you listen to one song on this album, listen to Uncle Albert. Uncle Albert. Uncle Albert was also a single, and I believe it was number one in the U.S. Smile Away. Smile Away is, you know, it's good. It's good. It's kind of more rocking. All right. Side two, we had Heart of the Country. I love that one. It's him on his farm in Scotland. It's brilliant. I love it. Monkberry Moon Delight. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why, I don't know what that's about. But uh, that's a cool song. What's weird about that song is it reminds me of like late 80s Prince. I don't know why, I don't know why. Uh, Eat at Home, Eat at Home's okay. No one's okay. Uh, Long Haired Lady, that's a good good song. Uh, it's, it's okay. Ram On, kind of, it comes back, re-enters the fray, as you will. And it's a more kind of uh, orchestral take on it. Just real short. and. I love it. I love the. I love all the music on here. The music is all really, really, really good. And the last song is "The Backseat of My Car," which is a great song. And I don't know. I love. I could tell. I think that would have been a Beatles song. John would have probably hated it, but I think it would have been a. Well, I don't know that. Also, not on the album was a song called "Another Day." It's just another day. Um, I saw recently on Bobby Whitlock's. YouTube channel that George Harrison brought the acetate or the demo of It's Just Another Day or Another Day to Bobby Whitlock in England, I guess. And he was like, ugh, ugh, whatever. You know, I don't know. Nothing against Bobby. Bobby's awesome. Uh, and George, I love George. But, you know, that's Paul's style, man. Paul, when I listen to Paul McCartney, I feel warm. I feel comfort. There's something about Paul that's very comforting to me. Uh, I love his music. I love the gift that he's given all of us with all this great music. And all the great musicians out there, of course, they've given us these gifts and this inspiration. And, you know, music makes life better. So, anyways, so my rating out of five for the album Ram by Paul and Linda McCartney is a 4.5. It's merely because I love it. I love the music on it. I love Paul McCartney. Um, 
I think it's a great album. So go out and stream it, give it a listen, and thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Peace.